between learning difficulties and being unhoused, Berkeley resident Jonathan Kane shares his story of trying to succeed within a broken system. I was taking some classes, but I had a drop in my medical condition, and they's not got me no books and got nothing, and I can't stay like that with my uh, learning differences. I think there's just been a systemic failure on so many different levels that you can't really pinpoint it to one or two. That's how I feel the city and county programs are. No one listens to you and they want you to listen to them. School enrollment is just one of the many things Jonathan has faced excessive difficulties in. I don't have organized home or nothing, so I can't really be successful because they don't understand. All the success I ever had in life is because people gave me places that were organized and structured. Is it's really hard to um, to take some of the steps out of survival into like things like school and other things that you can kind of follow through on um, when you're when you're outside. Exploring what it means to be a neighbor to all Berkeley residents may be the first step we as a city can take to foster a more welcoming community in our hometown. I just want to say that these type of people that, that come and show these blessings with food and everything, you can come around, you don't got to have nothing. You can come have a conversation, maybe 30 minutes of conversation, and that's good enough. As far as little, little things and big things we can do every day, um, the little things is just, you know, acknowledge people. So just like looking at someone and giving them a smile, saying hello, good morning. That can really make a huge difference in someone's day. For Cal TV News, this is Kaylee Morgan.